chances are some of you might be jumping into Sober October. Some of you might already be there. As I'm recording this, we have just a few days until Sober October, and I wanted to give you a few tips on what to do. It is 31 days. I went into 75 hard thinking, oh crap, that's a long time without alcohol. You can do it for 31 days. So whether you've been contemplating it, not know where to start or terrified or don't think you can do it, you can, I got you, we're all here for you. So here's three tips for Sober October. Honestly, the adventure begins long before October starts. You have to start setting yourself up for winning, not failing. Go into it with a strong mindset that you will succeed these 31 days of being sober. So tip number one is finding new alternatives, whether that be taking new classes at the gym, going on more hikes, going on road trips, maybe doing staycations with people that you know that you wouldn't drink with, getting into an exercise program, reaching out to friends for maybe sober game nights, doing, you know, fun activities, go to the movies more. That's one thing that I noticed since I quit drinking is I do go to the movies more. You just have to stay active and find ways. I mean, you're in October, there's pumpkin patches. There's so many festivities that you can do during the month of October. And so there's really no excuse that you don't need to be drinking all October long. It's 31 days out of 365 days. And I know that a lot of people try to do Sober October. I used to be one of those people, oh, I can do Sober October. But I would be like almost Sober October, never actually Sober October. It's really just about finding new habits because our habits are Friday night barbecues with beers and after work wine and you know, all the things to help you try to relax, which you have to find alter alternatives for. There's so many supplements that are natural that can, you know, ease your anxiety, help you sleep at night. You don't have to rely on alcohol because that's a bunch of bullshit. Alcohol does not help you sleep. Alcohol does not make things more fun. <laughs> try doing activities for 31 days without alcohol and I promise you, that you will find a whole new life. I mean, if you're somewhere warm, you could still go to the lake and the river. If you're somewhere cold, you can start snowboarding and skiing. And I mean, wherever you are in this world, there's so many activities out there. You could host mocktail nights. Those would be fun. I've seen something like for women, like boo baskets exchange, like it's like a Christmas exchange, but Halloween exchanges. I mean, all there's so many fun things, but make it activities that are with people that don't make you want to drink. So find your activities and maybe comment below if you have any problems finding activities and we can help each other in this process. As of right now, I would start planning ahead. I would plan your weekends. I would plan your evenings knowing that you're going to be alcohol free and plan it with your family or friends that will be supportive of you for Sober October. And heck, don't look at it as you're never gonna drink again. Look at it as an opportunity to see how you feel. And then at the end of the 31 days, run with it, stay sober. If your skin starts clearing up, if your sleep starts getting better, you start losing weight, within these 31 days, you're going to love yourself because you're gonna be more active. You're gonna be doing things, activities that are not alcohol related, which all these activities that you do, everybody thinks that you have to have alcohol involved, but you do not. I have done so many things with alcohol in the past and ruined so many things. And now I enjoy things so much more. You're active and not drinking, the month is going to fly by. It's like these 31 days aren't even gonna, you're not even gonna notice that you weren't drinking. Tip number two is social situations. You have to prepare yourself 
for so social situations. So for me, in the beginning of 75 Hard, I said no to a lot of things because I knew that I would be pressured to eat like crap and drink like crap. So I stayed away. But the further I got into my journey, I realized that I bring, I bring my own non-alcoholic drinks and it really helps me. I ventured out, I go to find so many different flavored seltzers, seltzer, non-hard seltzers, seltzer waters. I've found like hop water seltzers. Um, the brand hop water is actually a really good one. I know a lot of people do kombucha, if I said that right, don't hate me. <laughs> and there's so many alternatives. You can bring sparkling water with juice, I know some of these have sugar in them, but in the beginning, whatever gets you through, you gotta do it. You gotta do it for you. Alternatives in social situations are key to success. You show up with a six pack of non-alcoholic beer, your friends might make fun of you at first, but then they're gonna actually catch on. It, it's happened to me. I introduced so many non-alcoholic things to my friends that some of them actually started drinking them and have cut back on alcohol. So be the leader in these social situations and don't be scared to lead a non-alcoholic life. You could be changing somebody's life and you don't even know it. You could be helping them and not even realize it. I know social situations nowadays are like overcomplicated and just all about alcohol. Trust me, been there done that. Guess what? My social circle has shrunk down so much. I used to be the one to always get everybody together. And guess what? I don't see anybody anymore outside of certain events because nobody gets together because I'm not supplying the alcohol or the food or the quote fun because I was the environment for these social gatherings. And now I've changed them. They're mellower. They're more intimate. They're more, there's more clarity, more focus, more, more just genuine connection when people get together now, not just like shoving alcohol in our face. It's seriously all about the confidence. You just have to be like, nope, I'm doing sober October and I'm not gonna drink and I'm going to conquer this in 31 days and see how I feel. And in the beginning of all of this, I highly su suggest that you take a picture of yourself and then compare it 31 days later and see the results, especially if you're a heavy drinker. I promise you, <laughs> you will be uh, absolutely amazed with how you look after 31 days of not drinking. That itself might just inspire you to have the confidence to never wanna drink again. Which leads me to tip number three. And tip number three is track your progress and reflect because one of the coolest parts about Sober October is seeing how much changes are in your body and your mind. So it's like every day, just jot down how you're feeling. It could be as simple as I slept better or I had more energy to get but today, or I was more present with my children. My husband and I aren't fighting as much. My wife and I aren't fighting as much. I saw my family more. I was more active. I mean, journal every single day how your journey went. And I don't know, if you're not scared of the scale, maybe weigh yourself, take that picture. I always say a picture's worth a thousand words. If you don't see it in yourself daily, then taking that picture will definitely help. That is what they do. That is what we do in 75 Hard, is we take our picture every single day. That way we can see the progress that we're making. And it's the littlest thing, but it really adds up to big, big things, because then you see the results that you don't see in the mirror daily. But journaling is definitely very important because maybe you're having a hard time and you can jot it down. You can start jotting down your resentments, your sadness, your fears, what makes you happy, what makes you drink, what are your triggers? I mean, you come to find out what actually drives you to drink. And for some of us, we have a lot of triggers and we have to realize that and work through them. And a lot of us want to lose weight, but we have no accountability to it. So if you're tracking your progress, it'll help keep you accountable. And Sober October will go by fast. 
you will go into the holidays maybe five to 10 pounds lighter, clear skin, clear head. I mean, just all the benefits of not drinking for 31 days is phenomenal. Like I'm telling you the first two weeks of not drinking may be difficult because you're bored and you don't know what to do. But like I said, if you plan ahead and find different activities and figure out social situations, because you hold the power within yourself. Nobody can do it for you. So take these tips and start October 1st, no alcohol. I, that is my challenge to you for 31 days. Screw Halloween. I know a lot of you are probably like, hmm, but what about the Halloween party? Take a mocktail. You can make so many fun mocktails. I live the mocktail life, except no sugar added ones. But like I said, number one, getting active, finding different activities. And number two, setting yourself up for social situations like bringing your own mocktails and you know, surrounding yourself with positive people. And number three, progress. Jot down your progress. Journal, track it, do all the things because that is what this journey is about. It's about exploring yourself and learning what makes you want to drink in a society that is obsessed with alcohol. So by the end of the month, you'll have this amazing journal or record of how far you've come. And that itself can be such a powerful motivator. And not just for October, but keep you going. Maybe for months after. But there you have it. Those are my three tips. And you can make Sober October fun and manageable and so empowering. Remember, this month is all about proving to yourself that you can do it and maybe even surprising yourself along the way. I mean, I've really, mine was 75 days and I surprised myself. Imagine what you can do in 31 days and then try to make it 60 days and then 90 days. But I would love to hear if these tips were helpful and if you plan on doing Sober October. And I would love for you to hit that like button and subscribe to help bring this awareness more to the public because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So I need your help pushing non-alcoholic life because people don't know what they're missing out on. Starting October 1st, all the way to October 31st. Journal, record, plan activities, get have social situations figured out. Don't bring alcohol, bring NA things. There's so many options out there now. You don't have to fall victim to the alcohol mentality. You have a life to live and make it a good one, alcohol free.